And so not the outcome that we were looking for. Obviously, it's a really tough locker room when it ends that way, the finality of it all. And you guys sent out a great group of seniors that gave everything to Kent State. And obviously, we came up short today. Um, areas that have hampered us and hurt us all year long. We need to clean up. We need to grow as we get better as we move forward into next year. But extremely proud of the seniors and the guys who gave everything to Kent State. Extremely proud of the guys who are sitting next to me and their leadership that they're going to provide going forward. Um, it's great for Kent State University for us to continue to be playing in bowl games. We're going to continue to do that and in the future by us getting better and living our core beliefs. We'll come out on the right side of things as we continue to go forward. Uh, just executing, you know, being from and every other quarterback. Just practicing. Just keep practicing. Just getting reps at it. And you know, if you get if you get more reps out of it, the easier it gets. So they kind of threw a mixed bag of things at us today. We uh, kind of prepared. We prepared all week, getting ready for uh, the game. Tried to do our good best we could, uh, trying to limit him as much as possible. I mean, we didn't get the outcome we wanted today, but it's back to the drawing board, just figuring out what we needed to do going forward. So I'm very proud of the work that our kids put in. I just told them we asked them to do a lot of crazy hard things because that's what life requires. And, and you know, getting this outcome is not what we wanted. But I know our young men, because of their time spent in our program, they're going to be better for society going forward. And I'm eager and excited to get back to work as we continue to build a great program that Northeast Ohio, Kent State, and Kent State community can be very, very proud of, that our kids can be proud of. And there's no reason for anyone that's a Golden Flash fan or anyone that was wearing some Flash Pass gear today to hang their head whatsoever. You know, this is going to be a constant, like you mentioned, to where to the last three years we've been playing in bowl games, and this is going to be the norm, and our Flash Pass family is going to continue to have to make their holiday plans around our bowl schedules. And I love them, and without them, we wouldn't be here. And I'm really, really proud of them, and the guys that are leaving, they got my number. It's never going to change, and I'll do anything for them. And the guys that are coming back, obviously, there's some work to do. But luckily, luckily, the guys that are coming back know our culture, and they know that work works. We're going to roll up our sleeves out a little, little bit of time off here. We'll hit phase one of winter conditioning. We'll refine the plan. We'll get back at it, and we'll be better than ever.